Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today we're gonna be going over everything that is customizable within your Twitch channel. So in this video, the goal is to show you every little thing that you can modify, that you can upload in order to make your Twitch account more you, more personalized, more customized. So boom, disclaimer, this video is not about graphic design. I'm not gonna teach you how to make art. I'm just gonna show you what you can upload as art in order to get your channel uh, looking more like something personalized. I am also not going to cover anything that has to do with broadcasting because that is not technically part of your Twitch account. For example, overlays are not gonna be part of this video. It's really everything that you can do on the Twitch website. We are gonna be covering the basics, but also keep in mind that we are going to be covering a lot of things that you can do as a Twitch affiliate. I will try my best to make the distinction when I get there, but if you are new to Twitch and you're wondering why you don't have certain options, it's probably because you're not an affiliate or a partner. Please look up on the distinctions. But right before we start in something that actually has to do with this video, this portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for customizing your live stream. They have a wide variety of customizable products from your logo, your banner, your offline image, your animated overlays, your sub emotes, your loyalty points, subscriber badges, everything from start to finish. Now what I love the most is their emote maker. I haven't seen that anywhere else and I think it's pretty revolutionary. So if I go here and I select adult male as a character, I can go ahead and customize it and it will generate emotes for me. And now if I click generate emote, I already have everything that I need. Love emote, GG emote, high emote, hype emote, etc. And the cool thing, the even cooler thing is that this is a character ID that was generated. If I want, I can copy this character ID and anytime that I want to come back, I don't have to recreate a character that looks like me anymore. I can just put in the character ID and then do whatever I want to do. They also provide gaming mascots and an avatar maker, but I'll let you guys figure that out. All you have to do is go to own.gg slash level. That's O-W-N-3-D.gg slash level. Also, if you watch my previous videos, you will know that I was giving away 250 euros worth of products on own.tv. Five of you got 50 euros worth of products there. Anyways, let's begin. So we're going to be using my main account for this presentation. Uh, keep in mind that I am affiliated on this account and also I have the new Twitch layout. So if you don't have the new Twitch layout yet, uh, do not panic. It will probably arrive at some point for you. But that being said, the customization is still the same. So in order to access the settings, in order to see what's customizable, you can either click here. If you have the new layout, it will say customize your channel. Or if you're old school, you can just click on your profile pic here and then go to creator dashboard. OK, so this is my creator dashboard. It might not look the same for you. I've moved a couple of things around. But to the left here, if you click on that little uh, um, what's it called, the sandwich menu, uh, you can go down to preferences and access the main channel customization features. Okay, so from here you can scroll down and this is where you would change your profile picture. Um, so you actually have all the information that you need about this profile picture there. The size doesn't really matter. Um, I recommend something between 600 by 600 pixels to 1000 by 1000. Um, anything bigger than that will work as long as it's less than 10 megabytes. A rule of thumb is literally look at the size it's gonna display on the on the Twitch page and figure out if you need to go overboard or not. All right, so when it comes to the panel, I probably should have left my channel actually open. Let me do that. Boom. So as you can see here, I have a banner. I have a custom banner here, but I also had that uh, accent color in the background. Basically, depending on the accent color that you choose, and we'll get to there, you have the option to not have a custom background like I have here, a custom banner. So you can just click uh, generated background and it will just give me that uh, cyan color in the back instead of that custom one, okay? Or you can put a custom image. Uh, same thing here, uh, when you upload, it's telling you the recommended size, you can double it. I've gotten some DMs about how it kind of blurs it out and, and stuff like that. I can't do anything about it. This is an adaptive website, so it basically does what it has to do in order to fit your banner to every single device, okay? One thing to keep in mind is that obviously with the new layout, it actually blocks everything. So this is why I made this one in particular to have my social media at the bottom. And I also added a little bit of a gradient here because otherwise it would just cut it. That is part of the design, as you can see. Anyways, let's scroll down. 
of course it's where you put like you can change your username if you have to your display name uh, your little bio this is what appears if you click on the about section so that is the bio here it's also um the thing that will appear first on mobile when people are looking at your channel on mobile i'll try to put up a picture to show you what a channel looks like on mobile here and this is where you uh check the profile accent color so it will also show up uh underneath your vods and stuff like that let me click here if you hover over your vods you will have that as an accent color as you can see um, if you want to know how to get a specific color and get the hex code for your already pre-existing um, brand colors <laughs> i have a whole video on that only so uh, check it out let's scroll down and then video player banner is what we call the offline image this is what we'll figure out if we go to the chat tab for example this is your the, the famously known offline image it says that you're offline and gives a little bit of information and then we have the channel trailer now right now Twitch is supposed to show your channel trailer here. It is showing here for me, but if you're hosting someone, it actually doesn't show at all. And sometimes people are not hosting people and I still don't see it. So I don't know what Twitch is doing, but the channel trailer should be the first thing that's available on every channel. But right now it's, it seems like it's not. I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. I also made a whole video about the channel trailer. It is basically something that you upload um, in order to upload stuff to Twitch, you have to be affiliate. So if you're not affiliate, you do not have that option. Okay. And then we have social links. So this is this whole system where you can, uh, you type basically the word you want to show and then the link that it directs to. And this is what shows up near your bio right here. As you can see, Instagram overlays. I've seen people have all, their whole HTTPS in there. This is not what you're supposed to do on top. There's the text to be shown. And then at the bottom, you put the link. You don't just copy paste the link. Uh, on both things okay <laughs> and then here there's the stream schedule which is also a different tab right here schedule it says here you have that um twitch actually goes out of their way to put something automatic so if you've streamed without having a schedule twitch will put that hey you streamed that that day um maybe you'll do that next week but it lets people understand uh, how often you stream anyways which is so cool Okay, a little secret for the front page, if you have the new layout, if you click on home here, uh, you can see that I have channels that are recommended, suggested streamers basically here. And the way to get this, if you don't have anything here, is to actually add people to your auto host list, okay? So automatically host uh, from your auto host list. Even if I don't have that on, I can click on host list and then add people and they will show up as my suggested streamers. Is my face blocking stuff? I should probably not have my face on. And then that's it pretty much for customization here. Now, uh, something that's pretty important in the about me section here is the panels. Now, uh, I've, I've said I have so many videos explaining how to customize those. I'll probably link one um, in the description. So this is where you edit your panel. So if you're logged in with your computer with the right account and you're on that channel and you go to the about me, you will see edit panel. So this is where you would go and upload um, images again images will be rescaled there's no real uh, um, restrictions when it comes to it always try to keep it underneath one um, megabytes if you can but i don't think that's going to be an issue uh, when it comes to resolution everything will be uh, rescaled to 320 pixels wide but the length is whatever you want you can make them super long you can make them super short as you can see mine are um, squares because i just like that look pretty cool all right okay so that's it for the front page now um something that you can do i'm, I'm trying to make it in a <laughs> i'm trying to show you stuff that you can do as a non-affiliate first is go to content okay you go to content and you go to video producer uh also a little known fact is that you can upload custom thumbnails for every one of your videos i believe this is also a non-affiliate uh, option i believe i'm not sure but you can go here and click edit, basically click on the little menu near the specific VOD, you click on edit and it will pop up this menu here and you actually can upload a custom thumbnail for your VOD. The only issue here is that the restriction is kind of strict and I hate it and it has to be 720p basically, uh, uh, 12, 1280 by 720 pixels, otherwise it's not gonna accept it. Also the, the file size needs to be uh, kind of small. I hate it, let us upload 1080p because that's what we're used to especially when we're doing like youtube it's still going to be under two megabytes please twitch 
Or if you don't have access to custom thumbnail or you don't want to make custom thumbnail, you have the option to choose between three automatically generated thumbnails. So if you don't like the thumbnail for a VOD and there's a better one generated here, you can choose that. Let me choose the one in the middle. It doesn't really show up. I think it shows a preview, but it takes time. And then you can click save changes. It will tell you, hey, changing the thumbnail real quick and then boom, it changed. OK, something to keep in mind, too, is when you're editing, you can also edit the title of your VODs. Now, I know a lot of people would put um, commands or, or information that is not necessarily relevant after the stream is over, like English. Well, not English, but uh, I don't know, whatever commands, whatever weird stuff you put there that's relevant to the specific stream, you can clean it up. Right. So sometimes I go over and I do that. Uh, it is an extra step. Uh, if you want to be extra fancy with your Twitch channel, you can make everything look super good. OK, so for the thumbnail thing, you can do it to upload past premieres, past, pretty much everything that's here, I think. Um, yes, everything that is listed here, you can do it. If you go to clips, for example, you cannot do that. You, you don't really have any options to edit your clips. Uh, you can delete them or share them pretty much. Um, collections, I don't have any collections to show you, but basically collections or playlists. If you want to regroup a bunch of videos in one single playlist and have that playlist have a specific name that is something that you can do here in collection you can um actually i don't know if you can do it from here but i know that it um it is an option to click on menu and then add to and then collection and then you can create a collection from here okay okay all right so we we done uh, main channel we've done video producer i believe it is time for us to go to affiliate so i'm an affiliate i'm not a partner if you're a partner this might vary and if you're not affiliate well you're not gonna have any of those options at all so you're already affiliated you signed the contract um you have your sub button and everything okay so first thing you can customize is the channel uh, the subscription information the subscription name right now is just called channel subscription or channel subscription with the the price you can change those you can call this uh let's say soldier sub you can call this one warrior sub if i can write properly and you can call this one god sub okay save changes Boom. Now, when people subscribe, it will say, hey, you just like you just got a God sub or something like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably go back and change those <laughs> emotes. Obviously, um, again, multiple videos on that subject. You have all of your emotes there. Um, you can select which tier you want to change. You can click edit if you want to change them and then you can pick which one you want to delete and then replace all of that. Something to keep in mind is that you have a prefix when you're affiliate. If you if you just got affiliated and you don't know that you have a prefix. In my case, my channel name is Gal Level. So Gal La was automatically generated and there's nothing I can do as an affiliate. Once, once you're partnered, you can give your emotes whatever name you want. But as an affiliate, you will have this prefix. Prefix means that it's a small word that will be in front of whatever word you choose. Uh, my a heart emote is Gal La heart uh, get the lurk get the w get the lol you get the point and i cannot change this you cannot change this it's automatically generated in my case since i'm french it actually works out because le is like the so <laughs> get the heart anyways go back after emotes you have loyalty badges that is when people subscribe to your channel they have a little badge that shows up on the left or of their name does that show up do i have a, my own loyalty badge i have so many badges we'll see hi boom as you can see here this is my loyalty badge and it actually says what kind of badge it is it's a 36 month subscriber one year badge because this is my highest uh customized one okay it's this one so uh, if you want to modify them, it actually tells you exactly the sizes that you need. Every information is here. I don't have anything for two months for some reason, probably because they added it later. And I'm tired of customizing everything, Twitch. <laughs> uh, nine month is a baby, uh, appropriately. And uh, and yeah, and then you can unlock more when you become a partner. So the longer people subscribe to you, the like the 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 better badges they will have. Well, you have to customize that. You decide that. You can put the same badge over and over again. Um, and I believe there is no validation period for badges. I might be wrong. Maybe that changed, but I believe that's like it uploads immediately. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. We did emotes. We did loyalty badges. Oh, okay. Bits and cheering. You can go ahead and actually customize every single bit badge. When someone gives bits in your channel, they actually receive a badge. If they only gave one bit, they'll get a little badge. I only have one customized because I was making a video about it. But you can customize all of this up to 5 million bits. It's insane. The cool thing here is that you have a already used some pre-made badges, which I love, which thank God, because if this was all empty, it will be <laughs> such a hassle. But uh, you can click edit and then again, you get all the information that you can that you need to upload your own badges. As you can see, I have a very, very well made, uh, beautiful image right here. OK, OK. It actually tells you uh, how many people are, are currently at this tier on your channel. We have one person that's 25k bits. All right, loyalty badges, that is done. Okay, we did bits, good. Hype train is something that's interesting um, and we're gonna go over it just because um, you can actually customize the default emote that shows up when you initiate a hype train. If you don't know what a hype train is, it's basically something that pops up on top of chat, encourages people to continue um, giving bits or subscribing if you have done um, if you have received a minimum of 100 bits a couple of times back to back, basically Twitch is like, whoa, OK, we're going on a train. Everyone subscribe, continue subscribing, continue giving bits. So uh, it's 100 bits minimum. And right here, of course, you can enable it or disable it if you don't want it for some reason. Um, you can also pick how many uh, actions actually initiates it. So three, if three different people give um, 100 bits back to back, my hype train is going to go off, right? Or if three people it's subs 100 bits or gifted subs right you can also select the level goals so you can pick medium um, and it actually tells you exactly what people need to give in order to beat at least one the first level of the medium difficulty in that case it's a uh, four tier one subs or or 2000 bits you can put it easy or or super hard insane let me see what insane says you would have to get what is that 100,000 Yep. Wait, no, 10,000, 10,000. Yeah. Either 20 tier subs or, or 10,000, the equivalent, basically, if you want to beat level one of the insane difficulties, I'm going to keep mine at medium. And then there's a cooldown so that people don't just hype train all the time about the kickoff. Basically, you can set it so that three actions, I said that already, but you can also put it up to 25. If you need 25 times one, 100 bits or subs or gifted sub to kick it off. Anyways, customizing. This is what the video is about. Let's click on choose a different emote. Assuming that you're affiliate and you already have an emote, you can actually choose any emote from the Twitch global emotes, but you can also choose your own emotes. So in this case, I'm going to put the heart because hype trained represent love and support. So I'm going to click save change. It actually gives you a little preview on what it's going to look like. Boom, save changes. And now my hype train is going to look like that when, when it starts. OK, let's go back. Uh, hype train, I believe that is all for affiliate. And um, am I missing anything? I believe that's it. <laughs> There's so much. There's so much stuff that you can customize. Now, I know a lot of people are going to mention uh, Twitch extensions. The fact that, oh, wait, you didn't go over how you can put overlays and alerts and stuff like Twitch extensions is is you should look up extensions. First of all, if you have an idea, you're like, I wonder if I can have overlays. I wonder if I can play music through extension. You need to do uh, that research yourself because there's thousands upon tens and thousands of extensions and I can't cover them all. An idea that I have is uh, in the past when people would ask me, hey, how, how do I do this from the Twitch app? Technically, you don't have all of those options straight from the Twitch app app okay which app on mobile on tablets you don't have all of all of those options but that doesn't mean that you can't do those things let me know if you would like to see a video showing how to customize your twitch channel basically have all the all the options that you have here on your computer how to get them on your mobile in order to upload like your profile picture your banner and all of that let me know if you, that's a video you would like to see but uh other than that i think i've covered pretty much everything if you are looking for some dope overlays to make your channel look good your broadcast look good but also your channel look good uh, check out gumroad.com get level this is where i keep them a lot of them are free most of them are free actually and then the rest is very, 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 very affordable. I'm talking 99 cents for a full overlay pack that covers everything and it's animated. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I have a link to a discord in there. And if you have any questions about streaming in general, we're approaching like five, uh, not 500, a thousand people actually in the discord server. So feel free to ask your question and also contribute to the community if you want to. But that will be all for me today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, go out there, make me proud. I will see you guys later. Get a level. 
Audi.